what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys it's been a while since i made a video but i'm back and in today's first video of my coming back i'm going to unbox my brand new v moto bluetooth for my motorcycle helmet stay tuned So if you've been following my channel, a few months back, I did an unboxing of this Jirama helmet from MT Helmets. And a lot of people were kind of interested in this helmet. It's kind of like a retro helmet uh, that has been brought back by uh, MT Helmets. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link up there, but just a quick turn around of the helmet so you can see what it looks like. And also for those who have been following me for few years now you would know that i'm rocking this v moto bluetooth for my motorcycle helmet um, so i use this when i ride a motorcycle so i can listen to music and pick calls whilst i ride i don't have to stop to do all that there are premium brands out there like cena like cardo but i've rocked this since i think about eight years ago and uh, it's worked well really really well for me never had any problems but recently I dropped it really hard on this side and uh, I tried to recharge it. It recharges but doesn't turn on. I was thinking of a way to fix it but as you can see there's a broken part here and it's all scratched. So I thought maybe it's time to go in for a new one and not try to fix it because it looks really old anyway. But as you can see it doesn't turn on anymore. So I went in for a brand new V model and luckily there are newer versions of this one. So. There are three versions. There is a v V8S, there is a V9S, and the V9X. I went for the basic one, V8S, which is uh, which links up two riders uh, with a walkie-talkie function. Because for the most part, I ride alone, and when I do ride with a partner, I ride with my buddy, and uh, I just need a two-way communication. So I didn't need any crazy uh, advanced features. So I decided to go in for the basic model which is more advanced than this current one anyway so i'm just going to go ahead and unbox the, uh, the new one so guys as you can see this is what i got in the package so if you look carefully you'll see if there's no reflection i hope v model right here that's the brand name i'm sure some of you out there know about it and it's the vhs version as i just mentioned a few minutes ago and here you get all the parameters or the functions that comes with it. There's some of the writings in Chinese, but I know some of the specs anyway, so I'll just go through them. So yeah, you can connect with a walkie-talkie version. You can connect two writers, which is enough for me for now. And you also have, it weighs 48 grams. Um, it's IP67 water rating, 1000 milliamps battery. Um, and then you have what? phone function walkie-talkie function and the button for controlling your music your media you have 500 meter range you can listen to music as well so this is it not a very big box but it's got everything in it i'm sure and when i was purchasing there was this deal where i could get i could pay a little extra to get uh jbl speakers so i believe it has stock spe uh, headphones but I paid a little extra for this JBL, which is supposed to sound much, much better. I think it's a collaboration between Vmodo and JBL. So that's it. The, speak, the headphones are in here. So we're going to unbox it and see what it comes with. So I've got my scissors. I'm just going to... I know it's not the right, the best tool for unboxing, but just cut open this plastic wrapping. Always a satisfying moment, but I see people do it online elegantly. I don't think uh, in reality people are this elegant when they are unboxing um, new products. Always a satisfying feeling anyway. So, yeah, got the plastics off. I'm just going to put this aside for now. Get the scissors out of the way and get to the belly of the beast straight away. So has this nice slide cover and hollow. Just gonna put that somewhere. 
And let's see, how do we do this? Uh, okay, so let's just pull this open. Empty box, empty cover. And the first thing you see is this card, which just has some basic information and you are immediately greeted by the device itself. So compared to the old one, uh, the design wise is quite similar, but the old one is a lot thicker. If you can see the, the width from, if the width is clear from here, you can see this old one is a lot thicker. This one is a lot thinner. So uh, that's a good thing. Certainly an improvement design wise, but the buttons are the same actually. So you have the big button, the walkie talkie button, plus, plus here, minus for volume controls. And there is this new mic button introduced for this new newer versions. And it's supposed to help you kind of like what we have in our cars and modern gadgets. You could use it to engage like Siri or voice commands for your, your mobile phone and or other devices. And when you pull this tab open, instead of a normal USB, mini USB that was before, now it is a USB type C. So that's a really good thing. It means that you don't have to figure it around looking for charging cables, cords, you can just use any. And below here you have the connection for the earphones or the headphones, which I'll show you in a little bit. So overall design, it looks it's quite similar in terms of design, but it is a little bit different and a little lighter as well. So that out of the way, let's see what else we have in here. So in here, as usual, there's some paperwork, which nobody really reads these days. Good to read those, but I mean, if you don't know something these days, YouTube teaches you everything. So. I think that's it in the box. I'm just gonna put it aside and open up this one. And here we have all the mounting accessories, all the parts for mounting onto the motorcycles, uh, sorry, onto the helmet. Um, so yeah, let's just get this open. Let's see what's in there. So that's a USB-A to USB-C cable, obviously for recharging and then you have a microphone usually these are good for those who have full face helmets that can open in the front part i don't typically use that one i like the one that sticks in the helmet and here you have the original headphones that come with a with a unit but like i said i got a jbl one so i don't think i'm going to use this one the debut will sound better and you have various wind muffling cushions we have installation pads right here for sticking in the helmet and I have a some that looks like a, a cloth for cleaning there's some alcohol tissue here and uh, another towel here kind of like a silky smooth towel maybe for preparing the surface of the helmet before installation and you have the, the plates for mounting it onto the helmet. And you have 3M tape here. Um, what else do we have here? And we have this, like I showed you earlier, this picture shows that you can actually beautify it a little bit with uh, these kits and uh, in the box. I've been given a green one, which I can use. Um, so basically, I can take this gray one off and stick the gray one on it with some tapes as well. So yeah, that's what comes in the box stock. Now let's open up this JBL, which I'm most excited about. See what it comes with. So taking the cover off, as usual, some paperwork with some QR codes. Apparently there is an app now for tracking your rides and many other services from this brand. Some more paperwork and there we have it. Wow, it looks so nice guys. Get this paper out of the way. 
And what do we have here? We have, yeah, some mountain cushions. And uh, here, there we have it, taking it out carefully. Mm, some nice cushion pattern. And there you have it, sound by sound by JBL. Wow, feels really, really good. Feels quite hefty in the hand. I'm sure it's gonna provide some quality sound. So yeah, basically just the headphones inside. So there you have it guys. It was a quick unboxing video of the V-Moto motorcycle helmet Bluetooth. Um, units that you can purchase for your bike so guys let's talk about the price so on doing the calculations i bought it in china in chinese rmb but when you do the conversions if you want to know in us dollars the total of the whole set cost me 82 us dollars um, the unit itself without the jbl costs just about 53 dollars but because I wanted the JBL version, I had to add an extra, which came up to $82. I think it's a pretty good deal compared to the high-end ones like the Sinners and uh, Cardo and some other ones out there. All right, so guys, if you're looking for an affordable motorcycle helmet, which is not bad quality anyway, like I said before, I've used the previous one for eight years and it just broke down on me. So I think it's a really cool deal. I'm pretty sure some of you know Vmoto, but you've never taken time to take a deeper look at it. I hope this unboxing gives you a gist of how the Vmoto is. I went in for the base version. There's a So that's a V8S, there's a V9S and a V9X. Just take a look at their website or some other videos out there and see which one suits your needs. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this on my motorcycle helmet and once i'm done i'll let you know on my first ride how it performs so thank you so much for watching i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor hit the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together i've got many many videos on my channel especially on my honda cb 500 a so take a look at the channel and enjoy the videos till i see you in the next video guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel ride legal ride safe peace and I'm out.